To enhance and improve the workflow when you're carrying out the various analysis options Radiance IES offers, we've improved the interface and added some new output options. Radiance IES Toolbar An application toolbar has been added to give quick access to some of the common functions of Radiance IES. A new tabular view has been added, which gives access to basic model data without having to leave the Radiance IES application. Enable and disable components. Edit simulation options. Place daylight sensors and modify their settings. Sensor placement. There's now more control over the placement of the default sensors. You can apply sensors to all spaces in the model or selected spaces only. And there are further options to allow you to choose spaces with glazing on certain facades and internal or external zones. Vertical and horizontal placement options give control over height and direction of the sensors. After default sensors have been placed, new options on the Sensor Settings tab allow you to quickly modify the direction with a single click. Dynamic Results Processing A new option has been added for processing UDI results. This gives a fast method for analysing the performance of a space against BRIAM criteria. The Apply to All option gives an easy way to process all rooms that were included in the calculation at the same time. Improvements have been made to improve the presentation of results on the WP Grid tab. Results can be visualised in axonometric view and are contoured rather than block filled. Interface on this tab allows the colour bands to be edited and other data to be toggled on and off. New outputs from the BRIAM analysis can be viewed here. To find out more about the new features in the VE, visit www.iesve.com/ve2018.